All right, this is, what do we have, 4721 Misty. So this neighborhood has always kind of been hit or miss for me. Um, there are some really nice houses back here. There's a lot of houses that show pride of ownership. And then there's a lot of houses that are just kind of trashy. Um, I've just, and I think part of that, I might be skewed because we used to have the We Buy Ugly Houses billboards. And I think I've just been in like the worst houses in all these neighborhoods. But for some reason, this one always kind of jumped out to me as having a, a good number of those kind of like trashy houses. You know what I mean? Um, I, I, the neighborhood should be great. Like you've got Academy Boulevard right here and then you've got Austin Bluffs over here. So access everywhere is super easy. Um, the problem with this one in particular is it backs right up to Academy Boulevard. And when we get in the backyard, I'll, um, I, I don't know how close it is yet, but we'll take a peek at it and see how bad it is. But I can hear it just from the front um, being in the driveway here at Academy. <clears throat> Um, one of the things I noticed, you know, the siding around the door is starting to pull away. So that probably needs to be caulked at some point. And, you know, the siding just needs a, like a good power washing. I do like the green brick, though. And it looks like they've done a, a renovation on this one. So you've got that. Well, they didn't renovate the light. <laughs> or at least switch out the bulbs. But again, you've got this gray luxury vinyl that's that's everywhere right now um, again with the white trim it's like all of these houses kind of end up looking alike because everybody uses the same stuff just because it's it's very popular right now like the farmhouse look so you've got the the living room here and you do get some decent views out the front you know you do get kind of the tops of the mountains over the other houses and this is kind of nice you've got the the island i don't know so you see how there's no hangover here, like the, the countertop just kind of ends. So it's not really a place that you can put bar stools because, you know, when you're sitting here, you know, your knees are just right against this and then you're leaning over if you're actually going to sit here and eat. I mean, you can do this. It's just going to be not as comfortable if you had, as if you had like the, the countertop extended a little bit, but it looks nice. It's a nice slab of granite. The granite continues over here. So they did kind of the contrast thing. Um, they did the gray cabinets in the center and then the white cabinets on the exterior. But you'll notice the gray cabinets don't have any pulls. They are all new. I'm almost wondering if there's probably a, a wall here at some point and they open this up. And you can see where they took out the old lighting and put in these. But, so I'm wondering if this whole thing is brand new. It looks brand new, but again, It'd be nice to have some poles there. Whereas the white drawers, they do have the poles. They're not the soft clothes, but they are brand new cabinets. Again, that farmhouse style sink with no divider, stainless appliances. Looks like they're all whirlpools. So they're probably all bought in a package together. Everything looks to be pretty, pretty brand new. Yeah, I don't think anybody's ever cooked in there. So that's good. Vinyl window, gray tile backsplash. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. This is gonna stay busy all day, every day. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, you're gonna get all the high school kids racing their Honda Civics up and down this. And it's super loud, because they got those loud exhausts. Even now, I feel like I'm talking louder just to get on the video. Um, so sitting back here with like a cocktail or a coffee in the morning, you're gonna hate it. And more importantly, Come resale time, uh, if the market's a little bit softer, buyers are going to hate this too, and you're going to pay the busy road tax. And that's not a real tax, that's just me saying, you know, the, these houses that back to these busy roads, they get less money when you go to sell them. Um, I mean, yeah, so I'm just, I'm going to weed this one out for you guys. This is not going to be the one. And then again, the siding. Needs a power wash. Or paint. Or someone to stucco over it. Jeez. That's a pretty old electric panel. It looks like they're still using this one. It's probably fine. I used to, when I was, oops. When I was flipping houses, I used to say like, cause people would ask for us to replace these old ones. And it's like, if it's working and it's been here for 50 years, I'm not gonna spend money replacing a working electric panel. Everybody, it's you know I always argued that it was a cosmic or a, it was an upgrade rather than a safety issue. 
So I think everything in here has been, you know, redone. Obviously the floors, the vanity, probably the toilet is brand new. And then the tile in the shower, with the glass tile inserts. It looks good. But we've seen a couple of these now where the house looks good and then it just backs up the road. And there's a reason that investors pick up these houses because they can get them so much cheaper because it's harder to sell a house on a busy road like this. So investors that don't really know what they're doing, they're like, oh, I can get a sweet deal on this, but they don't realize that as soon as the market softens, nobody's going to pay top dollar. Like you can't comp this house out for the rest of the neighborhood and use the exact same numbers because it's not as desirable as the rest of the houses because you've got you know a super noisy Academy Boulevard. So I think you know more newer investors, they make that mistake where they're like, oh, well, the neighborhood supports you know, just you know, $200 a square foot so they think when they fix this up they can sell it for two hundred dollars a square foot and maybe over the last couple of years before the market shifted you could have done that because nobody cared because there's a hundred houses on the market and you had to take something but in this market where it's not as crazy seller friendly as it's been like you have to adjust your price per square foot numbers you know to account for the busy road and also kind of a double whammy it's that buy level so if you're looking at like a tri level in this neighborhood or if you're looking at a ranch or you're looking at a two-story, this particular floor plan is going to be the least desirable. So if you're looking at, you know, say there's another house that's 1,700 square feet and it's a ranch and it's sold for, you know, 420 or 430 or 440, you cannot use that number for this house because a ranch is going to get more money than a buy level every time. Downstairs basement, new vanity, new toilet. Uh... I doubt this is new tile. That's an interesting look. It's like there's something that used to be embossed on it. So like there's some kind of decoration. I wonder if, well, I don't know what that is, but there used to be some kind of decoration here and I don't know exactly what they did. But this is like the one part of the house that hasn't been renovated. Under stair storage. Gray fireplace, little area over here. They left up some of the wood paneling and just kind of painted it gray. Furnace is from 2009, the Duquesne. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> so who knows how well that works. And then 2019, 2018, 2019, 2019, water heater. 2018. Gosh, the guys have terrible handwriting at regional. <laughs> and then your washer and dryer just down here too. Probably included since the house is already vacant, but again, since we're not making a run at this one, maybe it doesn't matter. And then you got your garage here. A little bit narrow, but you do have some extra room here um, for whoever parks over there. They've got a little, little extra room to park that way, but all for not, because I don't think we're gonna get you guys a house that backs to Academy. So let's keep looking and see what else is out there. Right, thanks.